Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and be sure to stick around. At the end, I'm going to share with you a real secret on how to fix your slice. Hi, my name is Joseph Mayo of Weight Mayo Golf and I'm here today with my teaching partner, longtime PJ Tour player Grant Waite. And in this short video tip, Grant and I are going to discuss ball position for a driver. And Grant, I think you'll agree that this video being aimed at the, the average club golfer, uh, ball position should be taking into consideration the ball speed of the golfer. Would you agree with that? Well, correct. Obviously, the, for the average golfer, the club head speed being down uh, around 95 miles an hour, right. uh, that it's critical that they launch the ball in the air at a higher launch angle. So, right, and with the driver, because it's on a tee, uh, it produces an interesting scenario. We can hit down on the ball, or we can hit up. And for the club golfer, as Grant said, that has less than tour caliber ball speed, without question, the distance gain is going to come from hitting up versus hitting down. So Grant, show us the ball position that would give us the best chance of hitting up. Well, so the ball position where I like to, I try to teach players with that slower ball speed is a reference point that um, doesn't change, which is going to be there somewhere underneath their left shoulder. So we, we would like to have the ball, if you're looking 90 degrees on, um, if you have a camera or you have a friend, look, you want to be 90 degrees and they want you, you want to see the ball position on the middle to the outside part of this left shoulder. I try not to use my feet because everyone has different widths of their stance that sometimes can make it look a little bit, uh, can vary too much. So we try to use underneath that left shoulder. So I would place the ball forward. So this gives the maximum amount of time for this club as it's coming down on that arc to now level out and start hitting and going up through impact. Absolutely. And Grant, uh, real quickly, out of all of the amateur golfers that we have taught, how many times have we ever told the amateur golfer his ball position was too far forward? I don't think we've ever done that, Joe. Absolutely. I don't think we've ever done that either. So anyway, guys, remember what Grant said, underneath the armpit, and believe it or not, slightly forward of that if you want to, but let's don't get the ball back. That's not going to help us with the driver. On behalf of Grant, I'm Joseph Mayo. Thank you for watching. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you find that information helps your game because that's really what we want to do here. As a golf coach, I want to help you play better golf. Now, as I promised you though, I was going to give you one tip on how to fix the slice. Here it is. It's called lead arm high, trail arm low. All you're going to do is simply take your lead arm and raise it slightly, lower your trail arm a little bit. This little change to your setup is going to help you swing the club a little bit more up and to the right, especially with the driver. Those two things are going to definitely increase your distance and help you get rid of that nasty slice. Now, if you want more great information on, on any part of your game, slicing, hitting the ball further, more distance, bunker play, you name it, we've got it for you at usgolftv.com. Win. Oh, yeah, with US Golf. Yeah, thanks. How are we going to measure something that's happening that how can we possibly understand it?